K5CE, who is now a silent key, he's been working on uh, a secret project, which is not so secret anymore. Uh, and that is a amateur radio oriented noise removal, not noise filtering, noise removal system using AI. I, that's it. Hey. Here we are. Okay, so uh, I do want to say that uh, I'm delighted to give Randy's presentation here because he couldn't join us today. Uh, I do hope that you will leave this room under the impression that there's a very neat system that you can download and use yourself to try to remove noise. So uh, let me move ahead. What I am going to do in this talk that's a little different is uh, Randy did come up with some great stuff talking about how AI works. I'm not going to go into that section so that uh, we can take advantage of, of the remaining time that's left to get to the demo. But I'm QRO only. <laughs> so this will give you an idea. Is that better? We could now? A little more? You want me to turn up the compressor? All right, I'll go off axis here. Uh, so uh, what Randy has come up with is a system that works in very close to real time. The latency is on the order of 100 to 150 milliseconds uh, noise reduction that uses uh, the cloud to do the AI part and then feeds it back into your computer. So uh, here's the kind of noise that Randy is able to filter out. Of course, most of these are the ones we're really worried about, including things like power line noise, uh, LED noise, uh, over the horizon radar, et cetera. The intelligibility uh, is quite remarkable. He's able to pick up up to 20 dB of uh, signal versus noise on CW, for example. And again, the latency that he's concerned with is on the 150 milliseconds. I believe he's trying to speed that up, but again, when you go to the cloud, the latency is, is kind of hard wide. Whoa, let's go back to that one. I can't control the volume, but I can guarantee the noise is gonna disappear. All right, see, there's no noise. Wow, that's perfect. All right, let me try this again. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go backwards on the slides. And let's see what it does. So he's got to toggle about how much noise you're removing from the system. amazing. Let me try to run one of the other demos. You know, it almost sounds fake, but it's not. It's very real. Are there any RM noise users in the audience? You think this is an accurate representation about what it can do? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Let me try the sideband one, see if that comes up. <laughs> so Chip, you're moving the slider, right? I'm trying to, yes. I mean, it's not part of the movie. It's, you're, you're actually, we're doing that. Yes, I'm trying to. It's not letting me do it. Let him get the tolerance. All right. Okay, so in any case, uh, there's a very nice description that Randy gave about how he does it. What he takes is a signal from the radio uh, and runs it to the computer and then the internet. Then it goes from the internet to uh, his RM noise server. He applies these AI noise filters and then of course it feeds the system back. So here's how the setup is made. You basically have to connect uh, through a USB or line in from your receiver to the computer. And then of course from the computer it's running all the systems and it comes back through your headphones. Now I'm not sure why that has to be headphones. Presumably you can do it with stereo speakers. 
Here's the bottom line. This is a free noise reduction system. And you need to go to Randy's website, which is rnetplace.com, and download the Windows software program. I'm not sure he has this available for Apple, but uh, in any case, it does work quite well for Windows. You run the setup program. You register your call sign. You've all been through these kind of processes. Would you like me to go back to get the picture? I'd be happy to. There you go. And again, here's a process picture, if you'd like to do that. Everyone okay? And there's apparently you have to use uh, the Microsoft Sound Mapper in order to really make this happen. So uh, just a minute, I'll be happy to answer a question. Yes, if you could speak up so everyone can hear your question, please. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, the point is, is that you can control the amount of uh, noise filtering that's done. You guys are your uh, slider to do that and choose your signal type and so on. Yes. Yes. Make sure you can get, if anyone wants to get that picture, here we go again. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much a Luddite when it comes to implementing uh, some of these CAN programs. I actually found Randy's system to be quite easy to navigate. It looks like it's harder than it really is when you're looking at these slides. I'm going to skip how the AI works section because you've already heard this in several different versions over the last hour and a half. But the bottom line is that AI learns what it means to have a signal, in other words, a CW signal or a sideband signal, and then it learns what noise is. So by that learning mechanism, it's able to remove the noise from the signal. And there we are, that's about it. Please take a picture of this one again if you want to contact Randy or you want to get at that website. And uh, I'm, I've made a career of mapping noise in the sky. I'm a radio astronomer. I'm intimately familiar with noise. When someone says that they can claim they remove noise, I'm exceedingly skeptical. Now, Randy's not doing any magic here, and he's not removing all the noise under all circumstances. But for most practical applications of very limited bandwidth in known deterministic signals like CW and sideband and so on, this thing does a great job. Can you use it in a contest? Has anyone used it in a real time in a contest? Okay, one of the reasons it's not commonly used in contests is because of the 150 millisecond latency. Not a long, uh, easy to get beyond that, but at some point, maybe we can coerce Randy into either doing a free version you can install on your computer or doing something that, uh, that is a little more accessible and a little less latency. Thanks very much. Check out RM Noise. Decide for yourself. Thank you. <laughs>